everyone it's me I'm back today I'm going to be showing you how to do this poodle um, updo with a fringe um, as you know I use a lot of hair extensions so be aware there is obviously you can still do this on your actual hair I'm sure there's a way um, <laughs> but I find it um, a lot easier and a bit more fun with hair extensions you can play around with things you can mix things up so I've been promising this for a while, I've missed doing tutorials for you so let's just get straight into it, I hope you enjoy it. Okay so let's go through the tools, first things first. As you know I use a lot of hair extensions with all of my styles, this is my natural hair, um, please excuse the state of it, it's, it was in a wet set last night and it's a bit frizzy, brushing it out. Um, this is a hairpiece, as most of you probably know. I got this on Classy Rebel, um, clipping bangs, um, because I don't have the commitment to have Betty bangs. So, okay, for this style, I use hairbrush of your choice. Ooh, sorry about that. Grim. I use a clipping ponytail. This is a little bit past it now. Um, I could do with a new one, but it's really good for just padding out styles, adding some extra height. And I also use some of my head extensions, which um, comes from a 10 piece. And they are also added onto top to add some fullness. Big hair donut. And um, that will be used to create the volume. A lot of bobby pins. A lot, a lot. I'm going to put my hair up and make a high bun. Just try and get it as smooth as possible in the back, even though that's like the hardest thing ever to friggin' do. Harder than any of these styles is getting a smooth ponytail slash bun. So this bun is going to form the padding or the base to the whole thing. So I like to bring it forward a little. And you don't have to pin it at this point because we're going to be putting a lot of things on it. You're not going to be able to see it. Um, it'll be different if you're doing it with your actual hair, but I'm not blessed. so. I have to use a lot of the fakery. So then I slide the hair donut over the top of the bun and pin in place. So this is when I start to add my hair pieces and I start off with my ponytail and I am going to curl it beforehand. Um, you can curl it when it's on your head to readjust anything that you don't like um, but I prefer to curl it uh, before I apply it because you can just curl it all over it's hard to do do it as much um, when it's actually in place on your head um, so bear with me whilst I do that and I will show you the result before I clip it on so here it is I've curled it all as you can see use my three quarters of an inch curling iron now this ponytail some have like clips on them to attach them some have string um, this has a string and a like a gripper a slide um, as you can probably see and what I do is I slide that grip into the back of the bun or just the base of my hair underneath the bun so it is clipping onto my actual hair I take some bobby pins just to secure it and then I take pieces of extensions that I will curl and these will hide all the gaps and hide all this bun so you won't be able to see a thing. you've added 
everything that you want on your head to your head um, then it's time to start shaping and pinning into place things that look good, brushing things that don't look good, covering up spaces where you might be able to see a bit of the hair bun still. Um, it's ideal to have a mirror behind you um, just so you can see the back of your head as well. Um, I don't have that at the minute so I'm just going to have to do a bit of guesswork, check it over afterwards. So just like to watch what I do and get an idea for it. I also find that um, having a hair bun on top, the hair donut, it acts as a really good sort of gripping pad for all the bobby pins. So say if there's a curl at the top of your head that is just kind of sticking out, you slide the pin in and it will slide into the donut and it anchors the curl to the donut and keeps everything firm and secure. Especially if it's a bit windy outside, you know, there's been times where I've been like, oh god, my hair is literally going to blow off. It never has, but this makes it feel extra secure. Obviously, you want most of your curls to look pretty at the front, so uh, I just concentrate on sculpting those, making them look more defined than I do um, at the back and sides. fairly happy with the placement of everything and everything's feeling secure we've got to hairspray it very important hairspray is the foundation of good hair spray hipkin 2019 so I do have a bit of trouble sometimes with clips in the back so I don't know if you guys can see you can see the extensions just there and that's when my good friend hair accessories come into play got here just a couple of flowers matches the outfit and looks cute and covers all the bits that you don't want people to see There you go. Um, like I say, it'll be a lot different for people with long hair that can actually do this themselves, but this is how I, well, I ain't got a choice. I haven't got all the lovely hair that a lot of you do have. Um, I would probably still use hair extensions anyway because they're so versatile. You can do a lot with them. I can curl these and of course they'll get damaged, but you know, I'm curling my hair extensions, I'm not curling my hair, so it gives my hair a break. I've actually used no heat on my actual hair here. I can get more volume, more height. And yeah, you know, I love playing around with pieces and seeing what I can do with them. So I hope that you took something away from this video. Um, could see what you can do with hair extensions. I would love to see any of you guys try and do this style. I'd love to see the results. And I will be returning soon with a Q&A. And it was a pleasure to do a tutorial again. It's been so long. I won't leave it as long next time. And let me know what you think in the comments or on Instagram. So thank you for watching. Bye.